My name's Heather McGee. My son's name is August. While I was pregnant, we found out he was gonna be born with a rare birth defect. When he was about three months old, we started our journey up here to Philadelphia. He had a 16 hour surgery. I've been staying at the house for six to seven weeks. The food's delicious. <laughs> the, just the local community that comes together and provides just everything from the home cooked meals each night, the fresh fruit, the fresh bread. It's just amazing. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything the Ronald McDonald House and the organization has done for our family. Today's episode is sponsored by AmeriHealth Caritas. We can't wait to have our friends from AmeriHealth Caritas back in the kitchen to cook for our guest families again. Thank you to the Tohicken Middle School Math Department and Jovan Engineering, this week's guest chef sponsors. Hi, welcome to Served With Love. I'm your host, Jared Johnson. Today we're giving you another taste of the summer and we're gonna do fresh fruit crisp. Veronica Pisoniak, and I am a member of AmeriHealth Caritas' care crew. I am one of over 5,300 employees who volunteer in our communities across the country. Last year, we spent over 40,000 hours doing volunteer activities. In fact, of those 40,000 hours, 37 events were at Ronald McDonald Houses in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Jacksonville, and Michigan love Ronald McDonald House. I love what they do. I love what they stand for. They help families who are dealing with medical crisis for their children. Love to cook. I especially love to bake and I can't wait to be back in person at a Ronald McDonald House helping families out again. I can't wait for Chef Jared's Nectarine Crumble so stay tuned for that. So today we're going to make a fresh fruit crisp and we're going to feature stone fruit. And stone fruit is really coming into season. And when you think about stone fruit in the Delaware Valley, I think about peaches specifically. There's a salmonella outbreak right now with peaches. And that's why we're going to use nectarines. When these public service announcements come out, please pay close, close attention to them and make sure that you're listening to the things that are being recalled and try to stay away from that. Make sure things are safe and healthy for your family. We're using nectarines, but you can really use any stone fruit. So I have about five or six nectarines here. Uh, they're chopped up, uh, and I've left the skin on them. I'm gonna put our nectarines in the bowl. And then I have some blueberries. You can use any kind of berry. And then to this, we're gonna add a little fresh lemon juice and a little fresh lemon zest. So from one lemon, we took the zest and the juice. I'm just gonna give this a quick toss around because sometimes the zest can be clumpy when you dump it out. We're gonna do just a pinch of salt. We're gonna use some sugar, a little brown sugar, some flour, and some vanilla. One of our interns asked, how come you're not using cinnamon? Well, you absolutely could use cinnamon in this recipe. But for something like this, I prefer to leave the cinnamon out because I really want you to taste the natural flavors that are coming off of the blueberries and the peaches. And the flour that we put in here is gonna work as a thickener. Now is a good time to preheat your oven. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees for this recipe. So now we're gonna make the streusel topping. So I have some regular sugar here, and I have some brown sugar, and I have some flour. I'm just gonna give a couple of pulses to work everything around there. So now we're gonna add some oats. You wanna make sure that you use rolled oats for this and not instant oats. And I have some slivered almonds here. You can use really any kind of nut, but you wanna make sure that when you're using a nut in this recipe that it is a raw nut and not a roasted nut. This is unsalted butter. Very important to keep the butter cold or your crisp won't get the texture that you're looking for. We're also gonna give just a pinch of salt. The salt is gonna bring the flavor out of everything. So now we're gonna give this a couple of pulses. The last thing you're gonna do is add a little bit of cold water. It should still be loose and crumbly, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. Give it a few pulses. One more tablespoon. A few more pulses. When the streusel is done, if you pinch it, it'll almost form a dough ball. Now it's ready to put it all together and put it in the oven. I have a nine by nine baking dish here. Just gonna give this a little bit of pan spray. I have parchment paper down. Keep our work surface clean. So now we're gonna take our nectarines, blueberries, 
and just put them right in the bottom of our dish. And then we're going to take our streusel topping and just dump this right out over top of our nectarines. You may not need it all, and you don't want to pack it down. So now we're going to take a sheet tray that has a piece of parchment paper on it, and we're going to transfer this right to the sheet tray. As it cooks, it's going to bubble up and start to bubble over. And you want to make sure that there's something to catch those bubbles. Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And we're just going to pop this in the oven. So after about 35 to 45 minutes, your fruit crisp is going to be golden brown and bubbling over and really delicious looking. And so this is one that we have done already. So give it a little bit time to set up. And uh, once you do that, you can easily scoop into this and serve it out. Oh, look at that. Still steamy hot, but it had time to set up. Nice big scoop of ice cream on top. Fresh peach berry crisp with an oat and almond streusel topping and vanilla ice cream. Thank you to today's episode sponsor, AmeriHealth Caritas, and to our guest chef sponsors, Javon Engineering and the Tohicken Middle School Math Department. If you'd like to sponsor an episode or get recipes or more information about what we did today, please go to our website at www.phila.rmh.org slash Chef Jared. Stay tuned for more episodes coming up. Serve